afternoon. I hear the bells outside ringing. I'm in the office today again, so uh, the tower is chiming as it calls us to midday and midweek prayer. I've always appreciated the bells doing that because I get so wrapped up in, in what I'm doing that I often forget uh, to pause for a time of prayer. I hope that our times together on Wednesday at noon have been an opportunity for all of us to do that. Again, for those of you that don't know me, I'm Pastor Jay, and it's good to be with you this afternoon. You know, it seems to me, here over the last week particularly, I've I felt fatigued. And I don't know about you, but I, I'm starting to feel tired. And I think it's partly because that in many ways this issue of COVID-19 has, has drug on for so long. Uh, and it's very easy to, to feel tired and fatigued. I know that I'm um, you know, always seems like I'm always juggling something. There are so many things to think about. Uh, we know there's been uptick in, in cases in our area, which concerns me and worries me. Uh, I wear the mask as I go out and about, and I get concerned as perhaps some people aren't as attentive to that as I am. And uh, So this week, I've just I felt tired. Just tired. I kind of hated that fact. But so often I feel like I shouldn't have those feelings, that I should stay uh, on top of my feelings. I shouldn't be tired. I, I shouldn't be angry. I, I shouldn't start feeling depressed or, or whatever that might be. And I began to recognize that so often in our life we um, have feelings. Feelings that well up inside of us, and, and they're part of us. Indeed, I would say they're part of God's gift to us, because I think God has gifted us with our being, and part of that being is a being that has feeling. And as I was looking at various things, I, I often read various devotions, and one of those I get comes from Richard Rohr. He's a, a Franciscan priest. He, he leads a... a, he's a monk and a priest, and he leads a center out in, I believe it's New Mexico, uh, called Contemplation and Action. And he has a daily devotion. You can sign up for it if you'd like to get it. But one of them talked about a thing called the welcoming prayer. And it's, uh, I want to just kind of read it to you today, um, because it really helped me. The author wrote, it said, earlier this week, I wrote about how Francis entered pain and suffering rather than trying to avoid it. This wasn't an act of moral achievement or heroic obedience. It didn't feel like winning, but more like losing, dying, and letting go. The religious word for letting go is forgiveness. Forgiveness is giving up your investment in and identification with your own painful story. And this comes from a deep place of inner freedom and awareness of goodness. God's, your own, and the goodness of the person you choose to forgive. And so I'd like to offer you a form of prayer, a practice of letting go and forgiving. He calls it the welcoming prayer. And he says, as you do this, you first identify the hurt or the offense in your life. Now again, many of us have struggles in our lives with other individuals and, and those feelings that that brings up. And he invites us in this welcoming prayer to remember when we started having those feelings. And then notice how it shows up in our body with maybe a, a tenseness of the shoulders or some other bodily reaction. And he says, pay attention to that. And then rather than try to push it away or tense up even more, simply welcome it. Stop fighting it. Stop blaming, and then maybe welcome the pain, and even welcome the grief, welcome the anger, whatever the emotion is, but to welcome it, and to name it. For it is in the welcoming and the naming of it, we are able to transform it, and to not lose that present moment. And I began thinking that as I've moved through this time of COVID-19 and the struggles of our age, maybe I haven't been welcoming those feelings of fatigue and naming them 
and trusting that God is in them. And so I invite us all today to spend a few moments as we do this little exercise and to welcome whatever we're feeling. I want you to hear this psalm. It's Psalm 90, some of the verses from that psalm. Teach us to number our days that we may gain a heart of wisdom. A thousand years in your sight are like a day that has just gone by, like a watch in the night. May the favor of the Lord our God rest upon us. Establish the work of our hands for us. Yes, establish the work of our hands. And then from Psalm 33. We wait and hope for the Lord. He is our help and our shield. In him our hearts rejoice, for we trust in his holy name. May your unfailing love be with us, Lord, even as we put our hope in you. As we wait in these days to continue to change and grow, I pray we, we welcome our feelings. And then as we welcome them and we feel them and we name them, we also are empowered to release them to give them to God, and then wait in hope, and wait in strength, knowing that as we lay them down, that our God will take them from us. That also reminded me of a song that I used to sing, and I thought I would do it today because it was kind of the way I'm feeling uh, as I felt some of the pain and the weights of these pressures these days that reminded me that I could always let them go. I hope I'm fairly close to tune. Well, I was doubling over a load on my shoulders was the weight I carried with me every Crossing miles of frustration and rivers raging Picking up stones I found along the way Yes, I'd staggered and I stumbled through pathways of trouble I was hauling those souvenirs of misery And with each step taken my back was breaking Till I found the one who took it all from me Down by the riverside I lay my burden down and I'm traveling light My spirit's lifted high I found my freedom now and I'm traveling light valleys I was dragging those heavy chains of doubt and fear and with one word spoken the locks were broken now he's leading me to places where there are no tears down by the riverside I lay my burden down and now I'm traveling light my spirits lifted high I found my freedom now and I'm traveling light darkest alleys and loneliest valleys I was dragging those heavy chains of doubt and fear and with one word spoken the locks were broken now he's leading me to places where there are no tears down by the riverside I lay my burden down and I'm traveling light my spirits lifted high got my freedom now and I'm traveling light My friends, I pray that as we welcome what we're feeling and we name it and then we give it to Jesus, we can begin traveling lighter and walking in a way that brings life and light even in the midst of these difficult days in which we're walking. 
I also encountered a prayer over the last week or so. It was printed in the Atlantic. Some friends shared it with me. I like the prayer. It reminds us of the freedom we have in Christ and the ability to let things go in the model of St. Francis. It mentions how he may do things that we wouldn't today because we're not saints. And we need to practice safe practices of wearing masks and so forth. It's very important to do so out of love for our neighbor. But the prayer did touch me. And so I wanted to share it with you today. Let us pray. Dear Lord, in this our hour of doorknobs and droplets, when masks have canceled our personalities, in this our hour of prickling perimeters, sinister surfaces, defeated bodies, and victorious abstractions, when some of us are stepping into rooms humid with contagion, and some of us are standing in the pasta aisle. In this our hour of vacant parks and boarded up hoops, when we miss the sky-high roar of the city, and hear instead the tarp that flaps on the unfinished roof, the squirrel giving his hinge-like cry, and the siren constantly passing, to you we send up our prayer. Let not heebie-jeebies become our religion, our new ideology with its own jargon. Fortify us, Lord. Show us how. What would your saints be doing now? St. Francis, he was a fan of the human. He'd be rolling naked on Boston Common. He'd be sharing a bottle, no mask, no glove, shielded only by burning love. But I don't think we're in the mood for feats of antic beatitude. In New York City and in Charleston, the saints maintain the humbling grid. O oh God, bless the mailman and equally bless the bus driver, vector of steadfastness. Protect the bravest, the best we've got. Protect the rest of us, why not? And if this virus that took John Prine comes as it may, for me and mine, although we've mostly stayed indoors. Well then, as ever, we're all yours. Until further notice, amen. And then in closing, I want to share another song with you today. It's an old classic uh, that uh, I think is helping me in these days of fatigue and tiredness with all these stressors. It's called Just a Closer Walk With Thee. Just a closer walk with thee Grant it, Jesus, is my plea
my troubled life is old Time for me will be no more My friends, may the grace and peace of God be with you. May we all walk closer to Christ, trusting in His grace in these days of struggle, knowing that we can let it all go, and He will take it, for He is with us always. Amen.